are men better at forgiving than women? No. Hell no! <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, wait. No, uh, wait. In, in terms of fidelity, that's one thing, but just in general, are men better at, at taking on something and moving on with it? Yeah. Yes. I, yes. yes. I agree. Agreed. I, yeah. A woman I agree. can I agree. take the smallest kernel of something, and then another woman gets involved, and then all her friends get involved, and then her cats get involved, and then it's like, yeah. it's like what just happened? Yeah. You know. Yes. I'm sorry, you know. Right. So, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Why do I know? <laughs> well, it's, it's that show you I work with a lot of women. Yeah, it's you know to show you yeah. all. I work with a lot of women and yeah. they are catty and they hold on to things that are one, two, three, four, ten years right. yes. long. But if you really want to forgive, you have to start with yourself. And I think that men, they don't have those long memories. They just and like, they can just go, oh, really? Okay, stuff. that's okay. Right. Unless it comes to infidelity. So well, oh my God, we don't know okay. where you got those Story. guys from. Yes. I told my husband, which by the way, never ever do this. <laughs> I told him that I had a seven year itch. Ooh. Okay, because what? I did. And so hold on, wow. that did it, hold on. That did not mean I was going anywhere. I've been faithful and I continue to be and I would never cheat because I wouldn't be able to lie about it nor am I gonna do that to my kids or my husband or anybody. However, I thought that it was a wise idea to say to my husband, I'm feeling a little itchy, like let's go make our relationship better. Let me tell you, worst move I ever could have made. Oh. He held on to it. It put a yes. major strain on our relationship. He didn't want to hear that. It made him feel like a chump. And it was my mistake. I know I screwed up. So if that's something I felt, like maybe some men would be able to handle it. My husband could not. He was, he was pissed at me and he had every right to be. So my point to you is, even if you feel something internally, maybe don't share it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean. Well, you're, if you're telling your husband you want to sleep with someone no, else, or you I felt like it, I wouldn't. Well, seven year itch to me was more like we've kind of been in this for a while. Let's like, spice the, it up. Yeah, it's the monotony of monogamy, which right. happens to all of us. Yeah. Okay. So I want. That's what I meant. I guess I meant I wanted yeah. to spice it up. Like, okay. You know See, what I mean? You can't. You can't. I understand what she's saying. This dude in this survey, this was his girlfriend. And it took me a while to realize how amazing she was. Come, no. Boy, boy, <laughs> see, you ain't got nothing invested here. It's an ego thing for you guys, too. It's like, this is my territory. Don't get near it. Don't you think it has something to do with yes, that? Yes, it's, it's a territory. Yes. That's my yeah. gold mine you sitting on. Right, yeah. I did the drilling for this here. <laughs> I bought the ring. I took, I've been in all the arguments. Right. I've saved the money for the house we got. I dug the hole for that swimming pool back there. You finna tap this one right here. All these women out here that ain't got no man. Now you over here with mine. Oh, no, partner. This your last one right here. Oh, snap. This your last snap. one. Right. Ladies, I enjoyed you. I'm sorry I took up so much. I enjoyed you. Kenya Moore, congratulations Thank with you. the new baby. And you look fabulous. Miss Lincoln, you look absolutely Thank love it. Miss Costa, absolutely wonderful. No more confessions on TV. <laughs> Ladies, thank y'all for being here. We'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.